Little over two miles. The egg is still, the who did a 5K this morning, the egg's still a little laggy behind, but I'm gonna grab some drone shots of just like the sunrise and this fog because it looks awesome. And I also have to leave, I have to leave it in about 12 minutes. So, trying to time it so we get the sunrise and the fog. Oh, this looks so cool. There it is. Um, I'm a wreck vlogging right now. Just, I have no idea where the road is. Um, so about, let's see here, about four minutes late from leaving. Um, really, that's not a big deal whatsoever. And so on the way to Dubois, um, got an early morning there. Got some business stuff got to take care of. Got some business stuff got to do. And uh, after that, I got even more business stuff. Um, it's a beautiful day, absolutely beautiful day. And I have to say, Nothing more than a cup of coffee and a good, cool, crisp, foggy morning run sets you up for just the best mood. So the morning shoot is done. Um, it went really great. Um, I need to get my car inspected though, and I just called Monroe, and they are open. So I'm gonna run down and get it inspected really quickly, and my oil changed because I have a little oil filter light that's that's saying that it needs changed. So um, not the most exciting, but definitely two things I have to do. All right, gal, oh my gosh. <laughs> Brightness needs to go down a bit. Uh, would, would you say that or no? So inspection went great. Um, the car passed inspection. I wasn't worried about it not passing, but uh, got new oil, got a new sticker. It's the only thing I really care about. And I care about a lot more than that. So I passed. <laughs> only test I ever pass. I got a lot of administrative stuff done, like emails, some phone calls, um, some stuff I was actually not expecting to do on a Sunday, but uh, I ended up, it is hot in here, I need to turn on the AC. Woo! You know, they say, like, like scientists, like, actually say, like, around two to three o'clock is, like, people hit walls. People, like, are the least productive, and I really feel like that. That's why I grabbed some coffee, um, I'm here in Clearfield County right now. Like the weather is just like, it's there's no clouds in the sky, it's beautiful weather. But I was thinking, let me find some like nature trails and maybe get some shots inside of a nature trail just because I'm here. You know what I mean? Like why, why, wa I, why waste the time? Oh, look at this though. Somebody just literally, somebody just took over the gym right down there. Like right down there. All right, so. We're actually gonna go put one of our Pokemon in there too. Ooh, that's hot.
So we're gonna sign. So now, we're in the gym also. Mission complete. My phone says that this is a hiking trail. Um, I do not see any like trail head. It is extremely beautiful, but it, I kind of just feel like I'm in the middle of the woods. Like this is the type of road I wish I had like go-karts and I could just fly and race on this road. This road's perfect. First thing that we're gonna do is just See if we can actually find the, a trailhead or something. This is such a beautiful place though, like, look at this. I know this probably, this camera probably does not do that justice. I love hemlock trees. <laughs> that sounded so nerdy. Just like a weird redneck nerdy, like, I love hemlock trees. Raccoons, deer, me, a spider web. I don't have any facts about the spider web. I, it's just a spider web. So what I've decided is that this is probably not like a trail. It's one of those things where like it's mislabeled and it's just like a thing. But regardless if it's actually a trail or if it's a, a thing, um, it's still in Clearfield County and it's still kind of cool. Like it's definitely not like absurdly insane crazy but the thing is like it has this feel that I think is gonna work really good for the camera um, for like insert shots just like this kind of like Lord of the oh, <laughs> Sometimes it's really hard to tell if the shot looks cool on here until you put it on a computer. Sometimes you put it on a computer and you're like, wow, that's like the coolest shot. There's so many gnats here. That's like the coolest shot ever. I wish I would have like done more of it. And then sometimes you get a shot and you end up going like, oh wow, that was horrible. Look at this. All right, so this is, this is a tree, but here's all the roots. And, and this is this is the underneath of the tree. Do you see this? Like, oh my gosh, I'm falling through. Like, the tree fell over. And like all the roots are... We need to go under there. We need to go in, we need to go. I have never, I can officially say, I have never been under a tree. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. I can now officially say, I have, I have climbed under, I have, I have climbed on a tree, and I have climbed under a tree. That is so cool. If I was a, if I was a squirrel, that would be my home. So the one thing people always ask me when they find out I do like video production for a living is one of the first questions is always. What's your, what's your favorite thing about it? Like, like, what do you like the most about like doing video production? And you know, every time, like I kind of struggle to answer, but in all reality, I think it's, I think it's this, just like the, the, the journey, the, the quest. Like I'm looking for something awesome. I feel like I'm on a mission. I feel like I have a ring and I'm going to a volcano. <laughs> if you know what I mean? Like, like, I forget, I get lost, I forget like this is my job. I, I forget that like my goal right now, I'm not forgetting to work. What I'm saying is my work feels like something epic and it feels like something that, that I would just do for fun regardless. And that's my favorite thing about it is the fact that I can get lost in doing my work 
and enjoy it so much and find so much fulfillment in it that it literally becomes fun. Well, that ended up being a highly successful film shoot, and uh, I didn't even plan on filming anything for the tourism video today, but uh, I'm really happy that I did decide to come out. Even though technically there was no trail, I got some really cool shots. I got some really cool shots regardless. Minus, minus the gnats. This has been an extremely good shoot, and I'm very happy that I did. There has... There hasn't been a single person on this road for like an hour. And now there's two vehicles the second I start filming. It's crazy. They're probably together.